Another handy tool for organizing your inbox are the labels for Gmail. Labels are a little bit like folders, except that, let's say if you have an iTunes receipt and you want to put it in your iTunes folder, but you also want to put it in your purchases folder, you can't put it in both folders. But with labels, you can label it with both labels. So that's the advantage of the labels. Right now, I would like to find all my information about Google. And here are the, uh, the ones I was looking for. These are my notes for some of these workshops. I'll put these in a new label. I can click the first one, hold down shift, and click the last one, and that selects everything in between. So one of them is already labeled notes, but I want to label them for workshops. I don't have a workshop label yet, so now I'm going to create a label. I'll come up here to Labels and choose Create New. This label is going to be called Workshops Create. Okay, uh, now I'm going to apply that label to those messages. Now those labels are listed alphabetically, so there we go. Now it's applied. Now that workshops label, it's gray, that's totally boring, so let me find it over here. There it is. Workshops, and there's the little flippy triangle. If I click on that, it shows me my label color, which is gray. I think I would be happier with, hmm, let's go with blue. Now that's going to stand out. Uh, other options that I have, if I do not want to see so many labels, I can hide the label. And if I didn't want it to say workshops, I wanted it to just be singular, I could edit that label, and it's fixed. And now I'm going to bring my thing up and go back to my inbox.